All right, what's good, y'all? We're gonna have a little chat. I never thought I'd have to make a video like this, but at 29, I guess you start experiencing some things in the industry, as they say. But um, people have been stealing my music. Um, multiple different projects of mine, too. It's not just like one thing or one song that's being reposted or something like that. Uh, there's a couple of different examples that have all happened this year to me, and I can list a few, but there's a couple more. The ones that really stand out are, um, I used to be in this band called Copacet, and, um, you know, it wasn't like super crazy or anything, but, we, you know, we played some shows, we went on tour, we made some records. Um, this happened 10 years ago, okay, in 2012 I released this record, and, you know, I was like looking for it, and I was like, oh, it could be cool, you know, like, it's on YouTube or whatever, on my stuff, and I thought that could be nice to go listen to it, and... I type it into Google and I notice that someone has released it on Bandcamp and they didn't credit any of the musicians. They didn't credit me. They changed the album artwork and they called it the exact same thing, Copacet, self-titled record, and left all of the song names the same. But no one in the band is getting any of the money. And this was like a decade ago. So like, why the hell would you release something that came out 10 years ago 11 years ago 11 years ago it is 2023 brandon okay so that's very bizarre to me i'm not getting any money from that i was never even notified hey we're gonna like re-release your record or something it's not one of the band guys um i don't even really know i don't know how much money it's making i don't know if it's making any money i don't even know if it's on all the all you know all the streamings or like any of that kind of stuff but it's pretty bizarre to me that that's happening um yeah another situation that i could think of off the top of my head is that um this cat who will remain unnamed because i'm not really sure what to do about this um from another project of mine called Catboy sound it took a song from two or three years ago that i made about uh, it's called 5150 and it was about, it was on the day that Eddie Van Halen died, I made that song. It was one of my favorite guitar players ever. And it was like an homage to his life and a very important song musically to me. And, um, you know, I don't know how much that really means, but he was one of my favorite guitar players ever. I mean, I grew up listening to him and learning his songs and, you know, I got, listened to his music on the way to school. He was my first concert, all this stuff. It was a big deal, you know, it's like, man, R.I.P. to the goat. And uh, so I wrote a song about it. And, um... Then I literally today get an email from this kid straight up telling me, hey, dude, seven months ago, I used your song on my album. I didn't get any cut from that. He didn't tell me he was going to use my beat. He didn't, like, reach out or any of that kind of stuff. It was literally like seven, like, ye like yesterday, he reaches out and is like, hey, dude, seven months ago, I used your song on my album. And it's like, are you serious, dude? And it was like, and to make it worse, he like chopped it up and put it like smashed up with a Danny Brown song and then rapped over it. And I love Danny Brown. Shout out to Danny Brown. Danny Brown is the goat. Amazing. I watch his podcast all the time and listen to his music and everything. I like I like him. He's I resonate with that dude. But um, yeah, man. Shout out if you want to clap and you somehow see this video. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really sure. It's kind of very strange. It's like, why would you even tell me? And then, dude, no, you can't use my music for free. Like, that's crazy. Like, and for me, you know, as a producer, as a music maker, as a full-time musician, um, all of my income comes from music. Like, dude, that's how I put a roof over my head. That's how I make the songs that y'all are stealing. Like, what are, what is even going on right now? <laughs> you know, this is so strange. And um, this is like the fourth or fifth time this year this has happened. And I'm not really sure, like, what kind of legal ground I really have in this situation, or if I should even take legal ground, if I should just keep doing my thing, if I should see it as flattery, that, like, you know, imitation is the biggest form of flattery. I remember one of my friend's mom said that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah, you just, like, you think about that kind of stuff, and it's like, okay, well, cool, thanks, man. Like, he thought that song was cool enough to put his name on it and there's i mean there's no way you can, you're gonna sound like me i'm sorry you just can't 
you know? Like, no no one sounds like me. No one sounds like you. It's like, I don't even know why you're trying to take my sound and put your name on it. Um, you know, if you want to collaborate and you want to make a record together, like, let's do that. I'm so down for that. I will gladly pay, or I'll gladly play whatever if you're paying me. Like, and on top of that, if you would have reached out and asked to use my music, I would have made you, like, way different music. Like, if you reached out to me and said, hey, like, I really like your music, would you want to collaborate and make a record together? I would listen to your music, and I would try to make music for you that that sounded like you. Like, I wouldn't just, like, make you this song and just be like, dude, here's this song. Like, hope you like it. I mean, I guess I could do that, but I, I would try to listen to the artist catalog. I would try to get, get a feel for the vibe and the type of music that they've already released. Like, I, you know, I wouldn't throw some, like, left-field 7-8 jazz shit at them or something if they weren't, like, already making that kind of music or something. You know what I mean? It's like, I wouldn't give you a Dilla beat if you were, like, making polka music. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So, I just don't even get that. Like, we could have made some doper shit if it would have been handled, like, properly. In the terms of people who are, like, rappers and who are, like, rapping over my beats. This is another example, I guess. And it's like, y'all didn't pay for that shit. I don't know if they're, like, ripping it off of YouTube or, like, I don't even know. I mean, I don't, I'm not really sure how they're, they're getting the songs, which is also, like, another interesting point. Because, you know, I guess YouTube to MP3 converter is real. I know. Like, shout out to them. They're the GOAT. And, uh, you know, you guys have helped me make lots of music. But I don't just, like, steal whole people's songs. Whole songs. Whole albums. And then put my name on it or put my own lyrics over it. Like, that's crazy. I don't do that. Like, that. Like make a cover, bro. Like, make a cover. That would be so sick. I would be so down for you to make a cover of one of my tunes like like that. You know what I mean? That's awesome. I sing I sing and play covers. I'm, I'm so not against that. And, um, dude, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know how to feel about how I feel about all this. I can't even talk. It makes me very, like, upset. Because, man, I I spend hours and hours on that shit, dude. Like, eight hours a day at least recording and making music. And, I mean, and they're just going to take it? Like, I don't work for free, bro. That is illegal. That is illegal, dude. Like, I don't know. I feel, I'm like, I guess my, you know, like, should I be taking legal action here? What do you guys think? Is this like a, dude, calm down. It's not that big of a deal. You know, just keep doing you, or is this like a, yeah, maybe you should, like, be sending some letters and calling some lawyers and, like, you know, whatever. But I guess my last question is, is how do I protect my music more? Because um, this is my livelihood. And I'd imagine this is how Jay Dilla felt. I'd imagine this is how Metallica felt and Prince felt and all these people, you know. And it's like, I guess there's a, some point in every artist's life where they kind of, like, get to this point where people start trying to steal their shit. And, um... I'm not down for that. I'm down for, you know, a lot of other stuff. You know, samples. Sample my music. Please sample my music. That would be so cool. So down for that. I'm not even saying don't even do that. I'm not even saying don't rap over my beats. I'm not even saying... I am saying don't re-release -re my songs under your own name. That's... And my own albums. That's shady as hell. Don't do that. But don't, like... I don't care, like, you could rap over my beats, but let's work something out. I'll give you the beat exclusively if you pay for it, you know? Like, I don't, I just don't, I'll make you something just for you. Like, there's a lot of other ways to handle this than just, like, put your name on my records or my songs or whatever. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I wanted to make, like, a happy, cool video today, but today's not a very cool, happy day, I don't think. I mean, whoop, <laughs> I got that. I guess. So, yeah, what are you talking about? It's a pretty cool day. It's Penguin. But, um, yeah, I had a bunch of gigs, like, canceled today. And, uh, you know, they didn't pay me for these cancellations that have been on my calendar for, like, months and months and months. And this is a place that I've played at for a bunch of times. And it's through this booking company, Paragon Booking. Don't don't work with them. Okay, don't, don't work with them. We're going to throw some shade. We're going to drop some names. P-A-R-A-G-O-N. Booking. Don't do it. Don't do it. Dude is will never answer any of your fucking emails. 
Uh, he'll cancel gigs on you without paying you. And he'll try and book you gigs. Like, he'll say, oh, like, are you free on this day for this time for this much money? And then the gig won't even, like, show up on your calendar. And it's like, he'll send you, like, four grand worth of gigs that don't even happen. And it's like, you know, should I save these days? Should I not? Should I... What am I trying to do here? You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty weird. I don't know why I'd be working with someone, or anyone would work with anyone, that doesn't pay you, that cancels on you last minute, that books you gigs that don't even happen. It's like, why are we even working together? Like, I, I book plenty of my own shows just for myself, bro. It's, it's fine. It's kind of a waste of time for me to do any of that other stuff. And just like, yeah, people canceling, like, last minute or... You know, like uh, Morris and May. Let's drop some more names while we're at it. But um, yeah, it's like pretty bizarre that, you know, they just hit me up for Friday, for this Friday, the 4th, for, you know, on the 7th. Today's the 4th. And then for the 7th, they were like, sorry, we're going to have to cancel your gig. And you're not going to get paid. We're not going to pay you. And it's like, that's shady as hell. Why the hell did you even book me? You know, like, it's not like I was depending on that money. Uh, last week, um, some Mon Monaco, M-O-N-A-C-O, -O, uh, in Denver, Kim, something like that, Kim, Kimto, or something, Monaco Hotel in Denver, they didn't pay me, and, um, uh, I played for hours, and there was, like, whiskey distillers there, there was, like, you know, tons of people there, $500 a night for a room, and they didn't pay me. It's like, this shit is getting bizarre, dude. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really want to, like, you know, and I have, like, contracts for these gigs. It's not, I don't, it's not that I don't have contracts for these gigs. They're, like, telling me, fuck you for my contracts. And it's just, like, the amount of shit that's going on right now is, like, whoa you know like why are these people not paying me why are these people stealing my music why are the venues booking you for gigs that they're not going to book you for it's like and then people are just going to steal my music i don't know man it's not cool i'm trying to figure that out but um i'm gonna, I'm not saying i'm going to stop making music i'm not saying i'm going to stop playing shows i'm not saying any of that stuff but I'm going to try to be moving in, like, a smarter direction, I think, because I don't think I like people stealing my music. I don't think I like working with these booking companies that are shady as hell. I don't think I like, you know, playing at these hotel gigs. Like, yeah, kind of, like, reach this point in your life where you're like, yeah, I need to be doing something cooler and better and, like, you know, I don't know more concrete and and not as just like copyable or steal it stealable or you know what i mean you know what i mean well yeah i think i'm gonna wrap it up but if you watch till the end let me know what you think i really don't know how i feel about any of this stuff it's unfortunate to get your music stolen it's unfortunate to get your gigs canceled um you know it's unfortunate to uh not get paid for recording sessions which happened the other day, and, uh, you know, it's not like you're out, like, 600 bucks or anything, and you hired all your friends to play this recording, and then the artist doesn't pay the band, and, um, yeah, it's like, dude, what the hell is going on? So I'm trying to, like, really kind of just, like, learn and grow and take this stuff as, like, a learning experience and not as, like, a what the hell or something but i would like to you know like if i have some sort of legal opportunity in this or if i have some sort of like you know ground to stand on or a lesson to be learned here i want to try to like be taking advantage of that stuff and just like be walked on all over you know what i mean but uh yeah big love y'all i'll talk soon